a beautiful circular thing that happens and it's just so amazing to me um but i don't know i don't know how and maybe i'm more excited that for your work than you are <laughs> I'm just, I don't know how I feel. I don't have any feelings about it right now. I'll be, I'm, I'm just like. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, but you know what? This, this, this is why this type of, this space is important. I am a literally a mental health advocate, mm-hmm. um, which began with me and, um, and I've witnessed it in and around um, my family. Um, so that is something that's, I, that is, it's very, it's, it's embedded in me to be able to speak to it, to, to, a, to, to be able to, um, shine a light in that area so that mm-hmm. we can have the conversation around it. Because, um, for me growing up, it was, it was not a conversation to be had. It was, you know, straighten up, sit up straight and you're, 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 you're going to be fine, you know? Um, and yes, you are going to be fine, but talking about things, acknowledging things, not hiding them and putting them under the rug, sweeping them on, under the rug, um, because they come up, whether mm-hmm. we like it or not, they come up. And that was my personal, um, my personal, uh, experience with it was that oh I handled my business mm-hmm. I I ran into challenges and I quickly dusted myself off and I got got back got back on it and I did it with the most loving heart I could I I don't I'm not one to hold grudges I do get upset and I do remember things um but I'm not one to hold grudges. So I, you know, I keep, I go with the flow sometimes. Um, I've since learned to create boundaries and it has nothing to do with the uh, being judgmental, but it has everything to do with, um, with um, uh, protecting my sanity, mm-hmm. caring for my sanity. Um, yep. As far as entrepreneurship, as far as personal development, as just your goals in general, what you're trying to do to better yourself in whatever space you're in um, or whatever space you want to be in. Heavy conversation to have because of the fact that um, it wasn't allowed to, we weren't, we weren't allowed, we have not been allowed grace in that area. Um, it's, you get hurt in whatever situation you get hurt in, and you're supposed to get up push your mouth and keep going yep get a band-aid if you need a band-aid but yep. i you know just, i don't worry about it just let it go let it go you know but the thing of it is that's where my um the importance and my my uh hazard lights came on was when after i did so well well it appeared I did so well, you know, holding information, um, carrying the weight of information, um, even information that wasn't mine, passed down information. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it's such, it, that's such a wide top topic to have, topic of discussion to have. But, but personally, you know, it became too heavy. And 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 the funny thing is, I. It's not funny, but just a saying that I, I use, I probably should find something else to say, <laughs> but, but um, I mentioned in the book the time that everything was going well. I had purchased my first property and um, everything was going well. And even I believe I lost it. I had the biggest breakdown I've ever had in the middle of everything great that was happening because I was not communicating because I was not, um, I did not understand the importance of self care. 
mm-hmm. and mental health and total wellness. I didn't, I didn't, was I aware of it? Yeah, um, I was. I, I wasn't aware of how important it was. Mm-hmm. I thought because I was surviving and because I was making things happen, right, that everything was okay. And those things happened. I experienced this or that. Um, it's not here now. I don't want to say, oh, well, but I believe at the time I was like, oh, well, mm-hmm. and I did my best to move on, not knowing or not realizing that I needed to deal with each one of those things that was burdening me. Um, but I found out in a, in a, in a, in a kind of harsh way, um, but that's why journaling is so important that's why communication is so important you're giving to me some things to think about so i can look out for because i mean you know what yeah. honestly what what before we go um what did you or what are your takeaways and How so now i am more interested to know okay, yes, I, of course I want the children to like it and love it, right. um, but what? how does this really affect them going forward in their development? Yeah. You know, like, is it a good thing or is it slightly bad? Did anything change? Mm-hmm. Um, so there's also, there's always other layers to it. It's, you know, like just how we are, everybody's, I'm a complex person, so, yes. you know, Kids are too. Like people, everybody has layers to them. And so to look at them as, hey, what, how is this helping this kid? Is it giving them some aspirations to be an author? Do they have a story that they want to tell? Yeah. So you can, you can have it to look back over, take notes. Um, If there's anything, I always look for like anything that you've said or anything I've said in reference to what you said and vice versa and, you know, get inspired off of those things. Mm-hmm. Talking about discipline, um, resourcefulness. I, what was that? I'm gonna leave with everything, but I'm gonna leave with the discipline. Continue, continuously practice being disciplined in my efforts with myself, with my work. Resourcefulness, that's a big one too. Um, continuing to add to my resource library of, um, you know, valuable individuals um, to collaborate with, to learn from, to assist, to share space with, and keep my commitments. How about you? I would say all those things and commitments that I also make to myself as well. Cause like, like this, um, like you inviting me on your platform and doing this is helping me take another step that you know I need to take on my own platforms. And so I, I got a little stuck. I was like, okay, you know, you want this book to come out, which is great. The book will come out. But if I only have two or three people that I know to purchase the book, no one will know about it. So I have to be the voice and advocate on behalf of my book so people will know about it. Yeah. Um, so just making, like being dedicated, using, I have a lot of resources that, uh, writing the, the thing that we did with uh, Trust Azrael, mm-hmm. that has everything that I need. Like I yeah. can still go to those recordings, but I still, my notes are still like, Yes, this is what I'm gonna be doing. So um, I have the resources, you know, I, I have the, I just need the, the discipline behind it, the commitment and to keep moving forward. So that's what I'm gonna do.